Yes, please. Good morning, everyone. It's absolutely super cold today. I feel like we're really moving forward. And well, gates, gates are everything, aren't they? We need to be able to get in and out of the field without having to wrestle with, uh, I don't know, old gates that are probably from like the Second World War or something. My word, they're so old and rusty and they just don't open. It was also Simon's 50th birthday. So I'm gonna put a few snippets of his 50th birthday party at the end of this video. I'd also love to say a huge thank you to Karen who watches all of our vlogs and she went on to our Buy Me A Coffee account which I think I'd even forgotten about because no one ever uses it. And she bought us a coffee and the money came through today and I've been and bought a great big sack of carrots for the horses. I know that they'll all really enjoy them. So thank you so much, Karen. That really does mean the world. It really does, thank you. We don't make any money off YouTube, even though we have finally been monetized, which is absolutely super. But I think it works out something like a pound a day. I'll have to do a video on that actually. And um, yeah, I think you have to work up to about £60 before they pay it out. So we're not quite there yet. But this is amazing. Thank you, Karen. And really do appreciate that you watch all our vlogs and that you comment. And it's just lovely. I love seeing your comments. Thank you. I've got a scarf on. I've got my waterproof coat on. And the worst thing is... Today is the first day of wearing willies. I've had a couple of hundred new subscribers since our last vlog, which is absolutely wonderful. And I just want to say a huge welcome to each and every one of you. For those that are new, we started this channel creating vlogs of what we were doing on the new land that we had taken on, how we have been gradually putting everything together and basically how we're turning. I've gone really hot now a three acre field that has been just left to the elements for years and years and years. How are we turning that field into something that is quite special? Now we are on a seriously low budget, but that doesn't stop us. It just means that we have to do absolutely everything ourselves. So today we are going to be trying to make a gate out of this sheep hurdle. We have got some fence brackets. To be honest, I've never made a gate out of a sheep hurdle before. The initial problem is that it's a little bit short and we're gonna have these on that side. So we've got to connect them to the stable somehow there. And then we've got this which is recycled it was on one of the fence posts over there so i want that to go on here somewhere so that's the plan that runs all the way down and there's a button out here that runs all the way across simon you're not happy with that piece of wood are you yeah it's fine but we'll have to treat the ends otherwise it's just gonna go rotten on us so what i'm going to be doing because so many of you have come from my latest vlog which was all about being too heavy for my mare and how my mare is overweight i'm now going to be splitting the channel so that if you can't get round them just put it over them i've got vlogs that show the diy side of things and our more personal life what we get up to and things that we've done in the week I'm still going to be posting those vlogs, but I'm going to keep those separate to 
I should be a bit warmer tonight now. The new series that I'm doing, which is going to be showing you all about how I get hope fit again and getting this weight off both of us. So I've created a completely separate playlist for that now. And that's going to be done in episodes. So, so far we're up to our third episode. And then the vlogs are going to continue to be the weekly vlogs that are numbered just like this one. Hopefully that's not too confusing. And I've also got my Help for Horse videos playlist. I love that one, which is the more educational side of things. Being as I am a qualified teacher and I love to share knowledge and to help people learn. So hopefully that will stop any confusion. I don't want people to think, oh, she was doing fitness with her horse in the last video I saw her in and now she's fixing stables with Simon. What's going on? So I just thought I'd clarify that for you so that you can see that we do. Well, I guess it's three different types of video. So we're going to have our Too Fat to Ride series, our weekly vlogs, and our helpful horse videos. The best thing is, we actually thought this was gonna be an easy job today. It's now half past three. For some reason, it's starting to get dark already and it's taken about hmm, five hours so far. I've even been to Wix's twice. The problem is, there's that many old screws in this stable. They're just jutting out everywhere. And I uh, can't get the drill through them. You just terrified me, Hope. So brave, Hope. So funny. He's got every single size of socket, apart from 19 mil. And it just so happened that the, the one in my car for the tires, to put the new tires on, that was the, that was 19 mil. It's really raining. So we've come underneath the like overhang of the stable to finish off the job so because there is a huge hole in here because sheep hurdles are made to fit over other sheep hurdles and not over these we're going to sink this bolt through here all the way through so that it stops this moving around so that it doesn't do this and that basically Whoa. That really smells horrible. <laughs> smells like like burnt petrol or oil. Hmm. been a day for hand tools today. Want to put it on? There we go. Did you do it right? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at that. Yeah, it does. It does line up with the other end. <laughs> Now I know it's just a sheep hurdle and it's not a proper gate, but oh, I find this so satisfying. Just look at how this opens. Oh, 
opens, oh shuts. All opens, oh shuts. <sighs> Just gotta hope now that Hope with her great big ass doesn't destroy it because that's probably its biggest enemy right about now. Hope and her bottom. It is very big. But she's on a diet. Super. Dream. So we've moved the big gate over there because that's going to be our second access gate which we're going to sort out next and look at that new gate Cheers me hope Doesn't that look so much better? Really proud of that. I think we could have another one of those latches on the stable wall over there because then we'd be able to just latch it open. That would be really good because the horses do like to come in here and then they mow the grass down a little for us. Plus it's good to have access. Do you like that, my big bee? I think the big alien bee likes that too. Oh, I'm so pleased that we've now got a proper hinged gate that I don't have to drag out and yeah, fingers crossed they don't just push all the way through it. I don't think they can though because to be honest it's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. So I did mention that I was going to put a few clips of Simon's birthday on here and so here they are. Enjoy. Still doing that? Oh. <laughs> You're filming everything, Kelly, for his... Uh... Don't I film everything? Yes, you do. Sorry. Yes. What, for your 40 viewers? Oh. 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 Hey, Benny. I've got one and a half thousand. I'll tell you, you, you can't can know. Know. smack him, you know. <laughs> Who made the samosas? I went and bought them. Oh. I'm Charlie. No. Happy birthday, Simon. <laughs> like and subscribe.